What's up guys, today I wanted to go over how to run GPT Neo X 20B. GPT Neo X 20B is of course a product of GPT Neo X, which is a project which aims to replicate the work of GPT 3 and hopes to eventually create an open source model up to 175 billion parameters. Currently, the largest size that they've released is the 20 billion parameter model. And as I've gone over in other videos, as these language models get larger, their ability to perform well with zero shot, few shot, or with fine tuning increases. With that brief introduction, let's get right into it. So first things first, in order to not waste anyone's time, the requirements to use the pre-trained model are very large, as this is a very large model. The weights alone take up around a minimum of 40 gigabytes of GPU memory and roughly 45 gigabytes of memory when you run inference on the model. Thus, it is not possible to use the model on a single consumer GPU, but some uh, industrial GPUs can be used with one GPU. Or, how we're going to do it in this video, we can use two GPUs, in this case, two 3090s, to run this model. So now that we have the requirements of the way, let's get started. The first things that we're going to need to do are clone the repo and download the weights. To do that, we can go ahead and scroll up to the top of the repo and copy the git link. And then we can go ahead and clone the repo by doing git clone and then the link we copied. And we can go ahead and enter that repo. The next thing that we're going to want to do is download the weights. I've already done so, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So to download the weights, we're going to go scroll back down to where we were before, and we're going to want the slim weights. We don't need the full 268 gigabytes of the weights, which includes the optimizer states. We just need the slim weights. So to do so, we will copy the we get command here and we'll go ahead and paste it. Now keep in mind this is roughly 40 gigabytes of model weights and so this will take a while depending upon how good your internet connection is but uh, just keep in mind that this may take a while. So after the download you will see in your folder ls the 20b checkpoints folder so this folder contains all the model weights and tokenizer needed to run the model. It's also purposely named 20B checkpoints as the repo will look for this folder by default when running the model. The next step will be going down to setting up the environment. So we have two options. We either can do the host setup or the containerized setup. I originally tried doing the host setup, which means basically making a VM and installing things here, but I had some issues. So I recommend and we'll be going over the containerized setup. Since we will be needing our GPUs inside the container, we will obviously need to be sure that we have the proper NVIDIA Docker and NVIDIA drivers installed. So make sure you have that done. We could try building the Docker image that we have in the repo. Uh, I had no issue doing so myself, but it did take a very long time. Uh, and so they also have pre-built images here on Darker Hub. However, I had issues with the pre-built images. So for this video, we will be building the image from scratch and using that. So to do so, we will copy this command here. And we'll paste it here. And I missed the dot. That's very important. We want that dot there. And it will take maybe around 10 minutes to build. That's how long it took on my system, roughly that. So uh, yeah, it may take a while. After the Docker image is built, we can go ahead and run it. To do so, we're going to copy this command here, but we're going to want to modify it based on how many GPUs we have. Keep in mind that as long as you named it the same thing I did, you can keep this part here, the name GPT Neo X. So let's go ahead and copy it. And paste this. 
And what you're going to want to modify is based upon the number of GPUs you have, you want to change the NVIDIA invisible devices. So since I have two, I'm going to pass in zero and one. And now we are in the container with everything installed. Inside the container, we can go ahead and navigate to where the code is located. It is mounted here, GBT Neo X on the root. And here we can see the code uh, from the repo as well as the model checkpoint right here. We are now at the point where we can almost run the model. We need to change a few more things before we're able to do so. Firstly, if we scroll down, we can see that there is uh, several config files we need to modify, but namely we need to modify the one for the pipe parallel size. So for two GPUs like we're doing here, we need to change it from four to one. What this is, is effectively allows one to optimally set up a cluster to run the model on multiple GPU clusters. But since we're only doing inference, we can change it to one. And it actually mentions it right here. If you're using eight, which you may actually be doing if you were using a A100 uh, instance on one of the many uh, common cloud providers, then you would leave it at four. So here I've gone ahead and opened up the repo in VS Code. And we need to go ahead and change that config file. So it's in under the configs and it's the 20B YAML file. And we're gonna to need to change this pipe parallel size from four to one. And we'll keep the model parallel size the same, but theoretically, I have not tried this, changing this value will allow you to split it over more or less GPUs. So here we're gonna be splitting over two GPUs Theoretically, you could change this value, but maybe not, depending upon how they structured the uh, model and the code. Going back to the README, if we scroll down a bit more, we see that they have three main functions. We care about only about generate in our case, which will allow us to generate text from the model. As we can see here, you're able to run generate or any of these other functions using deeply. Uh, to generate unconditionally, you do deeply generate and then the config we just set up. And uh, I'll do that now. So this actually won't work and I'll go over why and we'll fix it. So we type that command in, hit enter. And both models are starting to load, but then we should get this error right here. So fuse kernels are not installed. So let's go ahead and install that and then try again. So let's go ahead and copy this. and we get a permission denied error. To fix that, we can just do sudo, the same thing, and now it is installing. So now that we have that installed, let's go ahead and try again. So see, we can see that both GPUs are loading the model there, the CUDA devices. And now it's loading all the layers. This can take a while because it's pretty big. And it's generating and should save it to samples.txt. Yep, right here. So let's go ahead and quit, take a quick look at that. So here is samples.txt. We didn't give it anything to generate, hence the unconditional generate and it seemed to have just generate a question about coding. Uh, you can see it here, how to get the value of a variable in a function in a different file. I have a file called main.py and a file called functions.py. In main.py, I have import functions, def main, print functions, get value, and yeah, just something about code. And that was just randomly generated, but you know, the cool thing about these models is actually controlling what they generate. So let's take a look at controlling what the model does. So the readme also gives several examples on how to, for example, pass a prompt and have the output be sampled outputs.txt. But uh, a better way of going about it is to use another config file as they say you can do here. 
In fact, there is a config file called textgeneration.yaml. And let's take a closer look at that because that provides many more options. So here is textgeneration.yaml. It allows us to have three different types of generation. We can have an input file in which it loads the file specified here and saves it in the file specified here. Unconditional, which is what we already went over, and then interactive. Uh, interactive being like a terminal session of sorts. Uh, we also have some parameters. We have the maximum tokens to generate, temperature, top P, top K, and recompute. I'm not quite sure what this is, to be honest, but top K and top P are sampling parameters that um, are useful for making the model perform in different ways. And num samples are how many samples you want it to generate. So in order to demonstrate what uh, this means and how we can use it, let's go ahead and change this to interactive. And let's make it generate 200 tokens. Temperature can be thought of loosely as the creativity. Let's lower it a bit to 0 0.95. And top P, uh, it can't explain it in 10 or so seconds, but it takes the top uh, probability so 1.0 would take all the probabilities up to 1 0.95 it will take the top 0.95 uh, next generate token probabilities as a sampling and then top K it's uh, how many to sample from so let's make this 50 now that we've gone ahead and modified the text generation .yaml file for our needs we can go ahead and use it so let's do Python deeply and generate. And then we want to pass in both config files. So we want the 20B config file. And we also want the text generate config file. And this should open up an interactive session that we can play around with the model in an easier way. So now we see that we have a context prompt. So what do we want to give the model to uh, influence it in the way it generates the tokens? So let's go ahead and ask it what I would call like a classic for asking AI. Let's go ahead and ask it, what is the meaning of life? And it's going to generate some text here. So here is the output and the generated text would be as the song says, what is the meaning of love? I mean, why are we here? Do we have a purpose? What is our meaning? And so this AI is uh, very existential. It is uh, asking what, what, is, uh, what is it? What, why is it here? And uh, kind of interesting that a, uh, a robot uh, computer it's not actually asking that, of course, but you know, it could fool you perhaps. So back to the texturation.yaml file. If the output you got uh, was not good or you wanted something different, you could go ahead and raise the temperature, lower the temperature. You could have it write to a file by doing the input file uh, configuration. And so, yeah, when playing around with this model, uh, going to this config file will be very helpful to uh, get the model to perform in different ways. So yeah, that is how you go ahead and load GPT Neo X 20B on two 3090s. Uh, there of course are many more things covered in this repo as you can see in the contents, such as fine tuning training. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to end here. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I cover a wide variety of exciting tech topics, and if you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy future videos I have planned. Also consider checking out the Discord server for good discussions and to ask any small questions you may have. Thanks again for watching, and please have a great day.